Don't really smart guys. Uh, Pac-Man to VC, and, and right. um, that makes gaming different now. And, and what's special is that the blockchain allows us to register our digital assets, our things. Right. So we can create the swords, we can create our own identity. Right. We don't have to rely on a Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn profile. We can create our own entity and that then can be shared inside the game. Right. What's holding back is that traditional games are silos, they're proprietary. Mm. Games on the blockchain are going to be open. So this is the beginning of a revolution, not just of gaming, but how we express ourselves, right. how we express our identity. Mm -hmm. And once we are in control of that, we can then create relationships mm -hmm. between these NFTs. Right. Oh, wow, what does that mean, a relationship between an NFT? Well, if an NFT represents a little bit of who I am, and I control it, and you have one of those too, then our NFTs can actually hang out together. Right. How silly does that sound? Well. I gave the example on my panel about crispy bacon. Mm. Um, I was going to give everyone a crispy bacon mm. token during my panel, but I actually thought because we're in New York, it might offend some of the kosher people. It certainly would offend my my mother-in-law would not like if I was giving away crispy bacon token. So I didn't do it. But if I had, I could have delivered through the swag bag, and, and I think you mentioned earlier we've actually provided the digital swag bag to all of the attendees. That's right. So I could have given everyone a crispy bacon token and those people who are turned on by crispy bacon like I am could have started commenting and connecting with me and so the token would have brought us together in a way that we can control and that's what I really love about this space mm. it's a technology that's going to totally increase human collaboration. Right. Yeah. Talk to me about the partnership between you and Consensus for this event to do the digital swag bag. It's the first of its kind. Yeah. There's never been this many uh, NFTs that have been redeemed, I think, at any event or probably at any one given well, time. I've never so many tokens made for one particular thing. 200,000 tokens. Over 200,000 tokens we made to give to all of the attendees. Right. They go and they claim the bag, they just watch over a few minutes what uh, tokens coming out of our custodial wallet going into their wallets. Right. And then they get after a few minutes 40 or 50 tokens that they can then go and redeem for hats, shirts, and even... Just how that's gone so far today, yes. and what your vision was. Talk to me about your expectations for this event, yes. and what's been met, what's been exceeded, what you think there's still room for improvement as you look forward to the next events and the next swag bags. So, we've been just totally knocked over by the response. It's, right. it's the beginning of the conference today. Yes. And already almost a thousand people have claimed their swag. Right. Which is awesome. We're Some very, very happy about that. And if you go to our booth, you can actually see we've got a big leaderboard of which swag is the most popular swag. Right. That's great. And how about as we move forward? Like, what does Swag Bag for Consensus 2020 look like? Or NFT NYC 2020 look like? Like, what do you envision how it matures over the next year? Well, the swag bag is really a vertical application of what we believe is a much, much bigger idea, which is non-fungible tokens being owned by people and being owned by interacting with them. But through the token and the tokens themselves interacting. CryptoKitties is an NFT, non-fungible token, and you can make CryptoKitties free. Right. Um, what if I had the crispy bacon token and you had the eggs token, and when we put the two of them together, we got a breakfast voucher. How That's fun is that, awesome. right? Yeah. So we have other event uh, organizers now coming to use this virtual swag bag. And what's cool about it is, once a attendee has the swag bag, we can progressively deliver more swag, not just during the event, but after. That's really fun. So that's the event swag able to design your own NFT on our platform, nft.grid, and then taking that NFT and being able to use it inside a game. So you build your own thing, the right. thing might be a sword, right. it might be this really cool t-shirt that you're wearing. With the the Josie.io, Josephine yeah. Bellini, her art. Sorry, I met Josie. her at, at the NFT uh, NYC event. Did you? Yeah, she's right over there with all of her artwork. Oh, excellent. Now, she, now all of her artworks can be coming NFTs. We and, must have her. Yeah. So that's the cool, the really cool, big, big, big idea is you do your own NFTs, 
maybe a redemption token for the t-shirt right. and um, and then those things might be available in other platforms. That's awesome. And, and that's just, that will break open um, the whole virtual gaming world. Yeah. And Neon District are open to doing that and so are a number of others. Good. Yeah. Well, I love what Neon District's team is doing. Yes. I've interviewed them a couple of times. It's always wonderful to talk with you on and off camera. Good to see you, dude. And we'll be doing several more interviews over the next 19.